Welcome back to Marshall Goldman, and welcome back to uh, kind of an inventory uh, review that we're going to do today. Uh, we've done one in a while, and we got a whole bunch of new stuff, and the market's really been blowing up on a few things that we're going to touch on. Um, one of the things we've got right at the front door is we've got a Lamborghini Gallardo Performante, probably one of my favorite iterations of the Gallardo. Um, it is just so unique, so special, tons of carbon fiber, different body paneling, the last really generation of the Lamborghini Gallardo. Um, these cars have become extremely affordable and they're going to be very collectible come two to five years down. Um, very few made. Um, this one is in what, what is a matte black. I think it's called Nero Nemesis. Uh, somebody can probably correct me on the internet if I'm wrong. <laughs> but it's an extremely, extremely, extremely cool car. Very affordable, under $200,000. Um, and again, the market has really been good with the Gallardos. Um, another thing that we really have started to notice and we've started to stock are the Huracans. So we've got two Huracan Spiders and one Huracan Coupe. And like anything else, Lamborghinis are the greatest to me when it looks like Skittles. <laughs> so in the middle we have a Verde Mantis, which is a green Huracan. Um, this car had an amazingly big window sticker or spec. Um, this car has the forged alloy wheels, which were, again, a little bit harder to get than most. It also has the carbon ceramic brakes. Uh, this car comes in, again, under $200,000. It's a lot of car for the money. The Huracan market has really started to settle and, and stay where it's at. So right now really is the time to get into one of these Huracans if you've been thinking about it. Um, the two spiders that we have, again, same concept, minus the roof. <laughs> um, we have uh, a Rancho uh, Atlas, I believe, not Borealis, um, and you know, the, again, the orange, the greens, really the kind of way that I would do a Lamborghini. Now, some people may be traditional, and we do have red, they do have black, they do have white. Um, again, just kind of my own personal preference on the cars and, and what I would do. Uh, but definitely, if I was in the Huracan market right now, I would definitely be checking some of these out, just because the market's kind of frozen, and it's, def it's at a point where it's good time to buy. So out of all 47-ish Ferraris that we have, again, kind of focusing on our inventory and some of the buys that I would think would be beneficial, at least in my head. Uh, so the 360 market, again, has become very solid, a great time to get into a Ferrari if you haven't gotten into a Ferrari yet, if this is your first Ferrari, if this is your seventh Ferrari. Uh, the 360 is one of the more modern, classic, let's call it, Ferraris. It still has a lot of the analog equipment inside of the vehicle. You still have the, the, the essence of rawness inside of these cars. The 430 isn't any worse, it's just the 360 definitely ended an era with Ferrari as far as lack of electronics, lack of, tra lack of traction control, uh, and it just has that classic style. Uh, these cars are, are trading right around $100,000, anywhere from $90,000 all the way up to $130,000, depending on spec, color, build, miles. We do have a lot of those in inventory, along with the 430s, and again, if you were thinking about getting your first Ferrari, you were thinking about adding your Ferrari collection, the 360 is really a good, good choice right now and a solid investment. And to some of our special things in inventory, and we get so many special cars, I, I get jaded with the amount of special cars that we have in stock and that we come and inquire. So this is an F12 TDF Tour de France. Shame on the motorcycle community or the bicycle community for not allowing us to say Tour de France as Ferrari originated the race. Um, so this is an extremely unique Ferrari. I'm sure if anybody knows Ferrari, current model Ferraris, they know all about the TDF or Tour de France. Uh, this vehicle uh, is, is in a really cool color. This is Rosso F1. So the uh, F1 denoting the fact that this was the color the actual F1 car was painted and it had different hues of orange and red to make it stand out on camera, which is uh, really neat. I don't know. The, the, there's tons of reds and people get particular and especially Ferrari guys with Rosa Corsa and things like that. But I, I love this red. I love this spec and this build. These cars are just so unique and the market, of course, on these vehicles has been rock solid and extremely good investment. Uh, definitely one of the cars that if you have a Ferrari collection, you can afford to add this to your collection. 
this is just to me a pinnacle of the air-cooled V12. Uh, the V12 is going away. We all know the V12 is going away. Uh, the 812 super fast. They are heralding the new GTS. Is it going away? Uh, it hurts my heart that it's going away. But you know we have to go away with uh, big V12s and uh, improve on EPA. So uh, if you haven't seen this on our website, definitely check it out. I think Kenan did a couple videos on it. Really really cool car. If you're local to us, you should stop up and see it. It's something that you may never get to see again. Uh, very few of these built. So now we come to the car that I'm biased about. And if you followed us, uh, this should be in my garage. You know my, my absolute passion for Porsche and my even so more nuttiness about air-cooled Porsches. We have so many air-cooled Porsches in stock right now. I'm like a kid in a candy store. Uh, I, I absolutely oogle over them every time that I see them. So this would be something that I would put personally in my collection uh, for a couple reasons. So this is a 993 C2S without the Aereo kit. So the, you could have gotten this with or without the turbo look kit, let's call it, or the Aereo kit is the portion nuts like me refer to it as. I like it like it like it is. I like the big wide hips. I like the lack of the deck spoiler wing. Uh, this vehicle had a couple of tasteful modifications, which we still have the factory parts, but I would have done to the car myself. It has a lowered stance with a Bilstein suspension. It has the newer headlights. It has the Euro marker lights. Just a really clean, classic, classy example of Porsche. Um, Porsche collectors, I don't even need to say anything. They know how important the 993 body style is, the last of the air-cooled, the most coveted of all Porsches, uh, at least in my head, is a 993s. Uh, we have a lot of 993 turbos in stock. And again, we have a lot of air-cooled Porsches in stock in general and inventory right now, which is really unique. Not a lot of people out there have the inventory of air-cooled Porsches that we have. So if you are a Porsche freak like me and get nutty over Porsches, again, please check out the website. Go and see some of the air-cool cars that we have. We have so many unique ones. We have we have a wide-body Cabriolet 930s. We have just a ton of 993 turbos. We have two 993, sorry, three 993 turbo S's, one of 183 built. We even have a Wimbledon Green 993S, which is one of one. I mean, that doesn't exist. It's it's a unicorn car. Uh, and we have one of those. Uh, we even have a Singer Porsche at our Beverly Hills store. If you haven't uh, noticed, we do have a second location on Beverly Hills with a, a, an amazing collection as well. Uh, but, you know, if you're a Porsche guy like me and, and you just love Porsches, even if you don't want to, even if you're not in the point to buy one, you should at least check them out. Just really, really cool renditions of the Porsches that we have in our, in our collection. So if you haven't visited our website, uh, marshallgoldman.com. If you follow This Is My Garage, of course, I'm Arthur the Car Guy on Instagram. Uh, my email is ak at mgms.com. Call the dealership. I'm always free to talk. You can hit me on Instagram, direct message me, whichever you'd like. If you guys have any questions or if you guys want to see any more inventory highlights or highlight certain cars that we have, just ask us. Put, put it down in the comments below. We'll definitely get to the cars. I know we have a ton. So until the next inventory review, you guys have a great day and enjoy all the cars.